Welcome to this video. In this video, we will talk about how to interface two Siemens PLC, which are S7-1200 via Profinet. And this was much awaited lesson because many of the students were requesting the intercommunication between two PLCs. So before I just had one PLC, so I arranged another one and I wish to make a lesson for you. So let's see what we have in this lesson. So first of all, we have to understand why we need to interface multiple PLCs. So let's imagine we have an assembly line and in assembly line, we know we have different operations. For example, there are several robots here which are doing one or the one or the another operations. And these robots are generally controlled by a PLC. The robots has their own controller, but to send the signal from the sensors which are on the conveyor and the other interfaces, we need a PLC. And sometime these robots has to work together. So they need to share the information. So one way is you can do it with a PLC. So this is a, just a basic example that in an assembly line, we might need to exchange information. All right. So we can say that exchange of sensor signal in assembly line. This is why we need intercommunication or supervisory control from PLC one to other PLC. For example, if I'm at PLC one and the whole station is off, it's not running. And I want to give a run command and which should give run command to all the PLCs. It doesn't matter four five or hundred. So one could be a supervisor PLC, which will control the operation mode of all other PLCs. That is where we also need intercommunication. So these are the two basic reasons which I have for you to have intercommunication. So let's see what are the tasks we have in this lessons. So first task is we have to write an algorithm for put instruction. Put is an instruction which we use for intercommunication. Okay. In this case, what we want, we want PLC1 to put the values in PLC2. So put is like writing the value from PLC1 to PLC2. This is the task. So if I change some value in the DB in PLC1, it will write in PLC or in the DB of PLC2. It can also write the outputs or PLC2 can also read the inputs from PLC1. So it doesn't matter whatever information you want, you can share it. We will check how we can do that. Okay. Second is um, addition to task one, write an algorithm for put instruction. In this case, PLC2 put the information PLC1. Now this is a both way communication. In the first task was only from PLC1 to PLC2. Now we also want from PLC2 back to PLC1. So, so they both change information. So that, that we can do using put instruction. So this is what we're going to see in the task two. Task two. <laughs> so we have just two tasks and um, if you could able to achieve this, then you can exchange information with other PLCs as well. So this is a demonstration between just two PLC. All right. So what are the things required? Okay. Additional example, write an algorithm to control the operation mode of, P of PLC2 from PLC1. Now, we, you might have seen a video where I was talking about operation mode, start, stop of conveyor maybe. Yeah? So we can also do this. Um, we will add this additional example here in which we will control the operation mode of PLC2 from PLC1 and basically coming from HMI. So we have one HMI which is controlling PLC1. So if the start command goes to PLC1, it will move that start command to PLC2. Similarly for the stop command and similarly for the manual and automatic mode. So we will control from the HMI, which will further control the other PLCs. That is, that is the additional task we will do in this section. All right. So what are the things required? So of course you need two Siemens PLCs, which are SM1200 and I'm using the software Siemens TI portal and the HMI part, I will simulate that in WinCC. All right. So this is what we are going to learn in this section. So coming to the next video, we will see the first task. So see you in the next video.